I will be present in today's presentation. You can hear me all. Maybe you can see my screen. Okay. Um, I will be presenting today about <coughs> the right evaluation and data generation techniques and um, how can um, we implement them using the different uh, use cases. Okay, so what is um, RAG evaluation mean? Uh, RAG evaluation mean it's an abbreviation for retrieval augmented generation, uh, which is an architecture that combines um, retrieval based methods with generative language models. In the evaluation of RAG involves like assessing its performance in task related uh, to information retrieval and uh, generation purpose. In the key aspects or the purpose to consider when evaluating this drug tests are like mm, to check the retrieval quality, which will evaluate um, the effectiveness of the, the retrieval component in selecting the relevant documents from vector databases and assesses metrics such as the accuracy of the output, the probability. The confidence for um, the retrieved um, information or output boundaries to check the generative model performance, um, which the other, the other use for um, the other uh, thing to check is a generative model performance, which will evaluate the quality of uh, the generated response by the language model, like by checking different language models to, uh, and test which language model yields to uh, a better uh, response. And the other also can be, um, the other purpose can be like to check um, the overall task performance, which consider the in-between performance of the RAG model on specific tasks. And this involves like assessing how well the combined retrieval and generation component achieve the uh, desired outcome in an accurate response. And there are also many different purposes and aspects to uh, implement this uh, rug testers. Finally, we will check the robustness in handling ambiguity or hallucination for the chatbot, which will evaluate um, how well the rug model handles ambiguous theories, ambiguous user usage or situations. Um, where there are multiple um, accurate answers, and it will assess also its robustness to noisy or um, varied inputs. So, um, evaluation of RAG is a multi faced task, and this often involves a combination of qualitative metrics, quantitative analysis, and domain specific uh, consideration or task specific consideration, and the like. And there are some implementation steps uh, when, when conducting the ARAG test, like we have to define a test um, case scenarios, which will explain the significance of the diverse user scenarios and uh, simulate a range of interruptions to uh, truly test the chatbot. And also it emphasizes scenarios uh, by generating the test data based on the context and role based responses. And potential um, user edge cases. And other might be curating the data set, curating the test data set, which will stress the importance of um, gathering relevant data sets in the mixed contexts in user queries and expected responses for um, comprehensive testing. And also it ensures the data set aligned with, if the data set is aligned with um, the identified scenarios that we instruct the LLM to do. In the other thing also uh, might be um, trained the model, which will outline the process of training um, the chatbot or the RAG model and uh, um, user curated data sets or that is data sets to emphasize contextual understandings. So these are some of the implementation. We can also um, test uh, execution, which will describe um, the controlled environment for RAG chatbot execution which we mentioned before, this is like the tested data set. Um, 
and finally uh, the final um, step is uh, gathering feedback from um, uh, uh, other users which will stress um, which will stress the significance of user and stakeholder feedbacks and encourage feedback collection during and after test execution which include contextual precision um, acknowledgement gaps and accuracy and um, the like and also there can be many benefits for tests uh, for this rug testers which will uh, which we mentioned like before but uh, it can also ensure robust performance in varied scenarios or varied uh, test cases which rug test discover a diverse range of user scenarios um, which can ensure that the chatbot performs reliably um, across various interactions and also it identifies areas for improvement in context handling um, through systematic testing. RAG tests pinpoint specific areas where the chatbot may face challenges in handling context or role based responses. And this identification is crucial for. Um, and this identification is crucial for enhancing the chatbot's adaptability, addressing any shortcoming and ensuring that it consistently delivers accurate and contextual relevant information from the um, document or from the vector database. And also um, the other is uh, it, it will guide a theoretic development for continuous enhancement. This is like the feedback that we collected from the users. So it's uh, really ancient. Uh, so um, RAG means like retrieval argumented generation. So we will conduct three uh, different test cases for retrieval and also another test case for argumentation and another test case for generation. So the first step in this test is the retrieval evaluation test. So this test is um, the main and the first test that should be uh, conducted when starting full rug test pipeline. So um, it encompasses or looks into the retrieved document from the vector database and by assessing which are relevant to the user question or which documents are irrelevant to the user question for the chatbot, which will distinguish relevant and relevant, irrelevant chunks from the vector database. So this test is uh, the retrieved chunk, doc chunk of documents, whether they are relevant for the that specific user query or irrelevant for that specific user uh, case. So the implementation is like, um, Sorry, I didn't have a date. Sorry, I think I have. Yeah. I have an example to show you. So, um, this is how uh, we can implement um, a rich rival test. So, for example, we have, um, for example, yeah, we have a user question like um, someone will come and ask, like, who founded OpenAI? So we will retrieve many different chunks, many different related chunks from the vector database. So in here, for example, we have three chunks. Um, chunk one is like OpenAI is located in America. Chunk two will have uh, a data that says OpenAI is the most underrated company. And chunk three will have OpenAI founded by it. Um, it was founded by like um, Sam Altman, Andrew J. Karapati and the like. So what this retrieval test will conduct is it will conduct um, many two different test cases and it will test um, between the user question and each um, related chunk by its chunk ID. So it will conduct a probability or an accuracy test between the user question and each related chunk. So in this case, it will um, it will have some metrics for, uh, it will test the user equation who found OpenAI with the chunk one, 
it will have some score and also it will have um, it, it will test the user question against chunk two and it will have some probability score and it will test the, the, the user question with chunk three and it will have also um, some uh, test score or an accuracy score so based on this example chunk one and chunk two have will have a low probability score and chunk three will have a high probability score so by doing these tests we can um, really distinguish which chunks are more related to the user equation or which are not related to the user equation so until now um, for the childhood development like we have done like we we will ask the question in this equation will be um, vectorized and from that vector matrix it will look into a semantic search from uh, from the vector database and that vector database will um, respond with the relevant chunks or the relevant documents that is um, that's related to this user question so what we have done before is that we will give all these chunks that the vector database give us and we will send this we will send that uh, contact that chunks as a context for the ln so this test will help us to more outline the chunks to more classify the chunks into relevant and irrelevant and to more streamline um, the related documents and to have a better um, response uh, for the chat box. So this is um, how the retrieval tests will be conducted. And the other one is the generation test, or the other one is uh, the generation and argumentation test. So I skipped the argumentation because it's related to this week's challenge argumentation is in the from the pipeline from the right pipeline it is a middle um, ground test which will test which prompts um, which prompts will um, have um, a better response by uh, by calculating a matrix for each prompts and by um, finding the relevant prompts that will lead to a better um, response so um, I will come to uh, that in a demo. So the other one is the generation test in the final test, which will evaluate chatbot's ability to generate um, coherent and contextually um, relevant responses. And it will craft scenarios uh, requiring these generative responses. And by generating data sets, this is conducted by generating a test data set for a diverse generative query. So this generation test will test the final output of the chatbot or the final output of the LLA and it will tell us whether um, the error or the uncertainty came from the LLA model or not I will show you the, the basic implementation Um, can you see my screen? No. Thanks. Sorry, I think I heard. I can't share my screen. It says that I think it's a connection. Sorry, wait for a minute. Thank 
I can only share a window, but not a full screen. Sorry. Wait. Um, um, sorry, um, apparently Google Chrome uh, disabled to share the entire screen while the recording session is in place. So, um, I will share uh, in the VS code. Can you see my screen? No. I think we need to uh, stop the recording because it causes an error when I'm sharing because it's recording. Um,